Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today I have a lesson for you on probability using models. Our lesson objectives today are that you, the student, will use a probability model to find the probability of an event. You will also create your own probability models. The question I'd like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson, how can you use a probability model to compare the different probable outcomes? Here we go. We're going to start by understanding that a probability model is a mathematical description listing all possible outcomes of an event and their corresponding probabilities. So we have a spinner here with four equal parts. So it's a fair spinner, meaning you have an equally likely chance of landing on any of the four colors when you spin. When we think about spinning it, our in theory, right, our theoretical probability is that we're going to land on pink one fourth of the times, blue one fourth, yellow one fourth, and green one fourth. So in a perfect world, if I spun it four times, I would land on each color once. But we know from playing games and that just experiencing life that what our in theory should happen doesn't always happen. So we're going to understand too that we could write that fraction as a decimal. So one fourth is equivalent to 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths. Also, you could consider it 25%. So remember, probability can be written as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent, and make sure you use whichever one is either stated in the problem or what your teacher prefers. Often, however it's given in the answers is how you would figure out which one to do. Now we're going to create our probability model to determine the probabilities landing on each color. So we can see that we don't have a fair spinner here, that we have a spinner divided into eight equal sections. However, we have three sections that are pink, one, two, three, four sections that are green, and one that is blue. So now we're going to determine, in theory, if we're going to spin pink, we're going to have one, two, three out of our eight opportunities. So we have eight sections and three of them are pink. So the probability of spinning and landing on pink is three out of eight. For blue, we're going to see that we have out of our eight sections, only one of those eight sections is blue. So the likelihood of spinning blue is going to have a probability of one out of eight, one eighth of a chance. And green, we can see that we still have eight sections, but one, two, three, four of the eight are green. And we know that four eighths simplifies to one half. So we have a one half probability of getting green. So it's a larger probability of spinning and landing on green than would be pink and least likely would be blue. All right, now it's your turn. You are given that there are 500 candies in a jar. All of the candies are the same size and shape. In the jar, there are 25 grape candies, 150 lemon candies, 75 lime candies, 200 orange candies, and 50 strawberry candies. You're gonna select one piece of candy at random. We want you to determine the probabilities that the candy you select is grape, lemon, lime, orange, or strawberry. So you're going to complete this table using this menu of candy in the jar. Go ahead and pause and then come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So here we have our solution. So first thing we want to do is understand we're picking one candy from a jar of 500 candies, right? And we're going to start that we have 25 grape. So we know that 25 grape candies are in the jar of 500 candies. When I simplify this, I know that if I divide 25 by 500 on my calculator, I'm going to get 5 one hundredths, 0 0.05. You could have also written it as a fraction, um, which would have been simplifying to 1 20th. All right, but we're going to leave decimals for now. All right, lemon candies. We have 150 out of our 500 candies. We're going to divide 150, divide by 500, and hit equals, 
and the Lemon probability is going to be 0 0.30. You could also look at this as percents. 5% chance of getting grape, 30% chance of getting lemon. Moving on to our lime, we told that there are 75 lime candies. Out of the 500 total in the jar, 75 divided by 500 tells me that my lime is 0 0.15 or 15%. Orange, we have 200 orange in our jar of 500. So 200 divided by 500 tells me that the probability of selecting an orange candy is 0.40, 40 hundredths or 40%. And then 50 strawberry candies. So 50 candies in the jar of 500. 50 divided by 500 gives us 0 0.10, 10 hundredths or 10%. All right, so that, I hope you got that probability using our jar of candies. Your turn. Now you have a school that has 80 balloons to decorate their gym for prom. Of the 80 balloons, 12 are pink, 48 are silver, and 20 are blue. All the balloons are the same size and shape. A student will choose one balloon at random. We're going to determine the probabilities that the student will pick a balloon that is pink, silver, or blue, and you're going to select one probability for each row in the table. So pink is going to be one of these four, silver, and then blue. Keeping in mind, these are all written different ways. So go ahead and pause the video here, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So we know that we have to determine the probability of picking one balloon at random. We're told that we have 80 balloons total. And our first one is that 12 of them are pink, then 48 are silver, and 20 are blue. So let's start with our pink. And we're gonna know that each one of these are out of 80, right? We have 80 balloons to pick from. So in the first one, we know that 12 are pink. So 12 out of the 80, 12 divided by 80, using your calculator, 12 division symbol 80 equals, and you should have 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths. I can see that that decimal is not here. 15 hundredths is not the same thing as 15 hundredths percent. So this does not come out, but we know that 15, 0 0.15 is 15 percent. So this decimal as a percent is 15 percent. You move the decimal two spaces to the right and add your percent symbol. So pink, 15 percent chance. All right, silver. We have 48 silver balloons out of our 80. So let's bring that over here. 48 out of 80. 48 divided by 80 equals, on your calculator, 0 0.6. I don't see that up here either. I know that this would be 60%, but there's no 60%. So let's write this as a fraction, which would be 6 tenths, just as it's read, 6 tenths. These are both divisible, numerator and denominator, by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 3 fifths. So 3 fifths of a chance of getting silver. All right, blue. We have 20 blue balloons out of 80. So here we're going to divide 20 divided by 80 is 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths. And I see that in my table right here. So 25 hundredths of a chance of picking blue. And there you have it. That is how you determine and create a probability model. Thanks for joining me today to learn about probability models here at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.